guys welcome to trending brought to you by airtel my name is nancy isima and it's so good to have you join me today right after this break i'll be introducing who my guest is today and the show will kick on full on i'll be right back hey guys welcome back to trending brought to you by airtel if you're just joining me of course i'm about to introduce my guest for today and we'll be discussing the lack of recognition of music video directors in award shows and discussing this topic with me is none other but Ajay Filmworks. Hey! Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How's it going? Blissful. I call him Ajay Shy Guy. Are you shy? I, I look like, I think I have a shy face. You act like you're shy because you're like, hi, hello, okay, I'm here. I'm not shy. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, so you look nice. Quite quite simple. Just a shirt. I think most music video directors, you guys just like to like keep it simple. You know, you don't care about all that fashion stuff. But tell me, what are you wearing in our style update segment? It's really going to be very difficult for me to know what I'm wearing because I just walk in and walk out with the shirt on. I don't, okay. I don't look at the price tag and I don't look at the brand as long as it looks good. Okay. Great. All right. So I have a black shirt, mm -hmm. a jean. I'm sure this is from Jack and Jones. Okay. Uh, that's a Nike okay. runner boy. What was yeah. inspiration? Um, I just like smart stuff. Okay. You know, just run and gun. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's good to know. Um, like I said, I think you guys just like to keep it simple. Nothing serious. No. Nah. But tell me, what pushed you to go into directing? And how long have you been <clears throat> directing? Professionally, um, I could say I've been behind the camera professionally for 10 okay. years now. Okay. Getting to 11 years now. Mm. Yes. And um, I really can't say what the motivation was or the inspiration was to actually want to be a filmmaker, mm. director. Now I make videos. Okay. It's always been... Um, there's always been this urge to actually bring solution to something. That means right. I've always wanted to tell stories. Mm -hmm. My first video was a storytelling video. Right. That was what opened doors mm -hmm. to. So people kind of just like my first, my first impression of storytelling in music videos. Okay. So it started just happening like that. Okay, great, yeah. great, great. So do you think that the quality of music videos have improved? Because Right now, of course, like you said, telling stories, which I absolutely love. I love scripted videos. But I, I can actually watch a Nigerian music video directed by a Nigerian music video director mm -hmm. and feel like I'm watching something that can compete with, you know, international standards. Do you feel that way? And do you get that? Often? Yes, yes. I feel, I personally feel that way too. Um, <clears throat> I mean, sometimes you log on TV to watch, you know, just to have fun. And when you see Nigerian videos, Aside from the aesthetics, the backgrounds, mm -hmm. you know this is, but when it has to do with quality, mm -hmm. the texture, you, you kind of understand that mm -hmm. this is an enjoyable video. Right, right. Why do you say that? I, I, I mean, we just have that. Um, I, I think it, it just goes a long way with the situation of our system itself. Okay. The, the system of entertainment and the system of everything in the country. Okay. Now, we don't have proper production expertise in Nigeria. Okay. So most most directors, most of us tend to, um, we're always self-motivated, self-trained, or some of us that actually have international experience, we try to build our own team. Okay. Whereas professionally, you as a director, you don't need to, to own a lot of things. You don't even have to get equipment. Mm. So what you do is you have your production, contact the production company mm -hmm. they produce for you. So they supply you with professionals, steady cam operator, DPs, gaffer, production designers. Mm. Anything you want is available, top class. Top class. So when you put all that together, it gives you a different vibe. Well, I kind of noticed recently, or oh, oh, every time, there's something about video shots here and video shots anywhere yeah. else. It doesn't even matter, even if it's maybe South Africa, um, mm. um, to, yes. to, if I'm being fair, you know. I think it's something about the air. The clarity, even if this, it's the same equipment, even the yeah. same camera and the same everything, but it's just, is it the air? What's, what's, what's it about? Like I said, uh, like I said, architecture, aesthetics, environment okay. right. has a lot to do with when you're trying to put your story together. Okay, okay. And I also add expertise because mm. expertise... You're working with professionals, people that actually really do understand what they do. So it's not more, it's not like a trial by error. Okay. So when your stuff looks good today, tomorrow it looks different. Mm -hmm. But then 
I'd say yes to what you're saying. The environment is different. Right. And when you especially... Is that it dirty? Is that it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Every time I say I'm like, what is the difference? What is our, it? Our, our weather, especially Lagos, is quite really cloudy. Right. I'd say that okay. if you step out to neighboring states or you go up north, mm. it's different. You find oh. really calm, blue sky vibe. Right. But, right. well... Like I said, I mean, everything is going to get better. Okay, hopefully. Yeah. Apart from all the things that we've mentioned, what else are the challenges that you face as a music video director? Can I actually say there's any challenge? Mm. I think the only challenge that there is as okay. a filmmaker, could, it's, I think it's generic. Okay. There's really no challenge because mm. as a filmmaker, um, it's about you being able to create value with what you do. Mm. So is it that you can do that or not? Okay. So if you want to do that, that means you need to work with the right people, you have to work with the right team, or you create yours. Okay. So the challenge is for me, I don't know about any other director in Nigeria that would, that would say the same thing. My would, I'd say, would be, uh, would be expertise. Okay. You know, I need to create this type of music video. I need production designers. Okay. So I'm, I have to come through uh, a cloud of 20 production designers. Mm. That's if they are production designers, but I could actually work with one. Okay. So we don't have variety and options okay. in the production industry. Right. Professional cloud. We need professional cloud. And then I think, I mean, for any filmmaker, that would be a big challenge. Okay. Otherwise, every other thing is okay for me. All right, now talking about awards, do you think that music video directors are appreciated enough? What kinds of awards? Music, music awards. Any award that appreciates um, artists, producers. Yeah. You know, doesn't have to be music. If, if there's, if there's, for example, a future award. You know, if they're appreciating uh, music stars, like, do mm. you feel like directors should also come in? Producers should come in. Oh, well, I think producers should come in. I also okay. think directors should also come in. Okay. Well, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not just very much of an attention savvy. Okay. So I really don't know much about how the system of recognition is happening here in Nigeria. But I do okay. understand that if you do good work mm -hmm. as a director, I think it's a normal thing to be appreciated. All right. I All mean, right. but I, I, I noticed that most of our awards are given, best video awards are given to the client, which is the artist. Really? Yes. Because oh, okay. the, the artist I know is executive producer. They, mm. they are your client. They hire the director to make the job. Mm. So they own the project. The content, yeah. yeah. So if, if the director, director created the content, who paid for the service owns it. Mm. Mm. So that's why I feel, however it is they're doing it, I think the organizers, I believe they know what they're doing. Mm. Yeah. So when it comes to recognition with directors, I think for me, mm -hmm. recognition for you is your body of work. Right. right. So when you put out good work, mm -hmm. it speaks for yourself. Mm -hmm. Whether someone is approving it or not, mm -hmm. whether if an artist has a good video, it's worth it mm -hmm. for him to have the award mm -hmm. as the best. And except we start having um, special awards for directors for mm -hmm. creative directing or best picture. I'm mm -hmm. sure you have that in movie awards. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. But do you think that um, these videos, whatever video you bring out for the song, for a song, yeah. helps promote the yeah, song? Definitely, most okay. definitely. In what way? Um, there is the visual okay. side of entertainment, there's mm -hmm. the audio. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you put out the song, mm -hmm. people get to listen to it. Right. But the visual is your brand, okay. this is what you look like, Nancy. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is your style, this is your charisma your character this is your vibe mm. the visual does it so i'm actually meant to make videos for you right. that is going to make the audience love you the more so to promote you yes okay. that's the promotion right actually. right yes. right right but how easy is it to shoot a music video in lagos forget about studio shoots i'm talking about it's outdoor easy. it's not easy what are your what are the biggest challenges that you face the biggest challenges that we face mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. that i know of is mm -hmm. Um, I think it would be stigmatization. In what sense? With access to facilities, that means you, you want to use a location in, in a normal place that, I mean, outside the country would be easy. Mm -hmm. Kind of make it very difficult here. There's no support. There's no much. Uh, you know, people are, are not fully embracing the art of 
filmmaking. Okay. By like not letting you come into the facility, yeah, the so houses. The process, are, the process are always usually very stretchy. Okay. Sometimes very tacky. Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't even listen. How often do the Omanile guys um, um, obstruct your shoot? Yeah, I, I think for, for me, I think the Omanile business has been well taken care of. I mean, okay. some of the, I'm noticing some changes right now where the Omaniles are starting to be fine boy. Oh, so they okay. don't want to like spoil their swag. So right, their Instagram swag, but that's good. Yeah, so they try to organize themselves and okay. then just, you know, give you one leader among them. When did they start? When did they get? I really can't tell. It just happened because I, rem I remember times where the moment someone sees you with a camera, mm. with a target. Because that was the biggest challenge initially, yes. like going to shoot someone in disruptive shooting yeah, country for many um, hours. Yeah, it, it's, it's still going on. Okay. But in some areas, I remember when I did some projects with that Deku mm -hmm. Gold recently, which was more like a stampede. You wow. know, just this man were clamping on us like. No way. And. How did that Ekule take it? He's a celebrity, and they were even telling us, "This is the life you want, Abi. You'll so you be superstar. <laughs> yeah, you're a superstar." So we, be, oh, what's the word? So, so okay. Yeah, yeah, you just, so. just look at me feeling like you're right. Like I, nobody, somebody will, do, will put me in this color. But I'm like, yeah, they say someone, they say someone. Yeah. And yeah, it, it all depends on the areas you find yourself. Security is very important. Okay. Always have your own security. That's what right. we do. But then. Everybody's, everybody's getting along. The parties are getting along. Right, right. right yeah. Okay. So what are you working on? What's going on for 2018? Um, I'm in business in 2018, as mm. always. Okay. I, um, I might be making a film. I keep posting this. I keep okay. saying this every time. But then, yeah, I have offers to make films. Okay. And I'm still looking at the, looking at, I'm still looking at the offers that I have. I'm still mm. reviewing stories. I'm still collecting script. Okay. And I'm also acquiring franchises. Mm. I'm not doing later all the detail, but yes. You are. I'm actually going into production. Amazing. We look forward to that. We Thank look you. forward to that. Thank all right, you. guys, enjoy the video of the day. We will be right back. Oh, I'm glad you came. I haven't had any customer in a while. I don't know why. <laughs> By the way, my name is Baba Tolski. Everyone calls me that. I don't know why. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> are you sure? Okay, never mind. Uh, do you mind telling me your name? <laughs> oh, but why? Hey, Master, why? Look at me. I'm still young. Why? You want to kill me? Your mouth is small like gata. Hmm. Oh, but I'm Hey, hey, where are you going? Stay there. Huh? Sex, 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 sex. Go and brush your teeth with detergent. Oh, it's so bolo. But why? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. I still have Ajay on my hot seat and we're about to play some games. First off, it's a fast fire questions segment. We'll have a second to ask you a couple questions under 60 seconds, which is one minute, and you get to answer. Okay. I'll Ready? Try. Ready. Time starts now. Who is your favorite artist? Whiskey. First kiss? Can't remember. What is your worst year ever? Worst year ever. 2010. Jollof rice or fried rice? Fried rice. What is one thing you can't live without? One thing I can't live without. Electricity. <laughs> Favorite animal? Cat. Ever had a one night stand? Yes. One thing you can never be caught doing? I have to think about it. Who is your mentor? My mentor is... I have so many mentors, I can't even become one. Okay, what is the first thing you take off when you get home? Your bra? The first thing I take off when I get home, mm -hmm. my shoes. Oh, okay. I was wondering. All right. Well, thank you for answering that and being very honest. Um, yes. I'll move on to the next one, which is the tribe. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. <laughs> later. I was wondering what you take off first now. You know, we women, that's actually it for us. I was just saying you're part of my My boxers. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Next up is the tribe. What happens? I get to ask you a couple social media abbreviations and you answer them. You give us a few minutes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
First one of AMA. I don't know what that is. Do you want me to help you? Please. Help me, Nancy, yeah. Help me, Nancy. No, you. The one you left off. Um, AMA? No, you said please. Please. Yeah? Help me, Nancy. Good boy. Thank you. Ask me anything, that's what it means. Okay. So that's AMA. Now you know. Okay, first and uh, next one, LI. It's a social media app. It's like for professionals. LI? Yeah. Ding ding. Ding ding. Ling ding. Ling ding. Well, I don't know. What I don't know what it is. You're getting it. Like, L I. I don't know. Just say it out loud. LinkedIn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're shy guys. You're just talking. You're like no, 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 no. I just wanted to be sure that you were saying LinkedIn. Oh hey, you get it. Next one, F T W. Do you know it? FTW. I don't. Do you want to help you? Please. Please, Nancy, help me. Good. <laughs> oh, it means for the win. Rolling my eyes. Really? <laughs> okay. NBD. NBD. No idea? No. Please, Nancy, help. Good. No. Big deal. Wow. Yes, you're feeling. It's okay. I'm gonna ask you one more. Um, LOL. Yeah, we know that, right? And we know that, right? <laughs> when I give you the one you don't know, you're like, ah. Then you know the one you know, you're like, we know that. Okay, laugh out loud. Good. I just wanted you to get at least two out of everything that I asked you. So you did well. Twenty percent. That's all right. That's all right. You need to learn more. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for. Great, great. All right, guys. Me a lot. Uh, yes, yeah. you're welcome. The school of Nancy Simmers uh, social media. Yeah. Abbreviations. Yeah. Just one, one, one. Uh-huh. GST one. GST one one one. Yeah. Whatever that means. Alright guys, we'll be right back after this break. Okay guys, welcome back to Trending. And before we went on the break, I was like GST one one one. I didn't know what it meant. So I've corrected him and it's now um SMA 101, which is social media abbreviation 101. So yeah. next time, yeah. Okay? Okay? Yes. I'm gonna give you this iPad and you're going to read both comments and please respond to each of them individually. So do I have to read this out? Mm-hmm. Please. Okay, this guy said, what's his name? Tip T. Mm -hmm. So Tip T is saying, I don't see anything big about him. I beg random dude with a camera. Honestly, Tip T, I think about the same thing for myself. I, I really don't see anything big about me. I'm just a guy with a camera. So, I agree with you. Number two, Unanimous. I don't like the quality of his videos. No street touch to it. No street touch to my videos. Where is this guy from? Where are you from, dude? Well, everything we do in Nigeria is, of course, is streets, man. All that outdoor street scene of Simi Owambe's video, um, where you watch... Um, Guy, come on, don't be too rash now. We try. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice well, to comment. Welcome. You're welcome. All right, so how did this make you feel? Mm. I'm neutral. Okay, well, how did the show make you feel coming on the show today? Uh, feels good as ever. I mean, Thank who's you. sitting next to well polished up, nice looking, uh, big. Oh, your head is not big. I wanted to spoil it. But yeah, just leave it like that. So yes, yes you are. Awesome. This is good. Right, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. I like your Don't. hair. <laughs> thank you. I'm a big head. So it's good to see you again. I mean, after our video, upload is say. If you don't know, it was shot like by me. him, and I got to act in that uh, music video. Yes. Hoping that this your new film will be part of it. Trust because me. Because if not, we'll crash that set. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, it's good to see you, and best of luck with everything. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Check out our top five cinematographers working in Hollywood. At number five is Wally Pittsfer. He won the Academy Award for Inception, where he lets go of all artistic inhibitions and gave us such a dreamscape which would be remembered for years to come. At number four is Robert Richardson. 
He is one of the only two people to have won the Academy Award for Best Cinematography thrice, the other being the legendary Vittorio Soraro. Sitting at number three is Christopher Doyle. He has this unique gift of making ordinary look pretty. His work in 2046 and Hero is mesmerizing too. At number two is Roger Dickens. He is a legend to say the list and there aren't enough words to describe his work. Suffice to say his work is poetry in motion. Finally at the number one spot is Emmanuel Lubezki. Chivo, that's what those who know him lovingly call him. Children of Men, Gravity, The Tree of Life and Birdman are his works. Hi guys, it's a wrap. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you had fun. I hope you had one or two things to learn from my guest at JFM Works. As you know, you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HeapTV and on Instagram at Official Heap TV. And you can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy is see my official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye.